Bunny and coming at you at Veering's RV Center once again, and I've got, well, I've got a problem. We've got a brand new product here in Winnebago, but I'm kind of frustrated because my sales manager will not let me sell one until I go through the Winnebago school and learn all about it. So Grant, this is Grant, by the way, he's Winnebago Industries. Grant, I need a four-year degree, master's degree, in about five minutes. Can you help me out with this? Well, Bunyan, we got a lot to learn. You ready? I think I can do it. All righty. All right. Okay, so I need to know how to set this thing up. So the first thing is awning, right? I, I know this thing's electric, so let's, hold on. I think I know where the button is. It's follow me. Is this, is the awning going up Bunyan, and down? Bunyan, come on, buddy. What? We got a nice panel right inside the door to control all those functions like your awning. That's, that's your power awning? tongue jack. That's just oh, that's the, power the power tongue, tongue jack. jack. Oh, yep. show me where yep. the awning button Absolutely, is. right okay. inside here. Awning inside. Wow, that looks complicated. Hold on, I'm yep. gonna have to take a lot of notes. So right when you come in the door, you're gonna have both your main, I would say, uh, functions on here, which is your awning and your slide out. So your awning's gonna be the, the middle button right here. It's a simple retract and extend. Oh. Now as you're on the lot, or as you're here working with customers, what you don't ever wanna do is bring your awning all the way in and all the way out without giving a little bit of break. So when I bring my awning in, I'm gonna retract it. Get it about halfway, let it sit for a couple seconds for those air struts to adjust, and bring it the rest of the way in. That's gonna get you a lot more longevity out of your awning. Oh boy, I'm already confused. I think I got that. Okay. I think I can get that. I may need your help when it comes to the test though. Okay. All right, so that's the awning. Okay, golly, I know we need to stabilize this thing. Where in the world? This is the jack thing for it, isn't it? Well, actually, this has all independent electric stabilizer jacks on the off-camp side. Oh, Let me great. bring you around and I'll show you. This is going to get confusing, I can tell. All right, jacks. All right, where is the buttons that I need to push? Is it in here? No, this is going to be your fully enclosed hookup section. So you have your battery disconnect, your switch from city water to RV water, where your, um, where your charge controller would go if you did have solar panels mounted on the roof. Okay. Your, your buttons for your stabilizer jacks are actually right down here. Now there's gonna be these two which will control the right, the front right and front left independently. For the rear two, it's on the other side of the slide out. There'll be two more buttons in the back. So each button only brings down one jack because the level of the ground on this side of the camper may not be the same as it is on that side of the camper. So it's nice to have that independent. Four jacks and two buttons. Four, four jacks and four buttons. Four buttons? Oh, jeez. Yep, I'm four jacks confused. and four buttons. I'll get this all right. Where did Bunyan get off to? There's no. What are you doing in there, Bunyan? Huh? You can't You can't be sleeping during school. Well, school is never, you know, books never, were never my thing. Oh, my goodness. I'm just taking a little nap. Is that okay? <laughs> well, it's big enough to in there. You certainly could. Let me get out there. Are we, what are we going on to next? So your customers may ask you, how big is the, the hot water heater in this unit? Well, this be? looks like a big one right here, and it, I'm glad it is because you know, we like to take long, hot showers. Absolutely. So there's a couple nice things about this water heater. A is there's no anode rod to replace in it. You don't have to worry about that. That's usually one of, a very common maintenance item on water heaters and travel trailers. Additionally, if you are going out west, because I know your guy likes to hunt, if you're gonna go hunting out west, versus having to take spare parts as far as a air adjustment for your hot water heater, you have an adjustable slide here versus a, a different type of water heater which would require you to bring additional parts with you to change out once you got to that higher altitude area. So basically it's a, it's a hot water heater that produces hot water, right? That's all I need to know? And a lot of it. Because that's all I got. 10 gallons, looks like. Yep. There, that's good. Grant, this isn't going to work. It's really super tiny in here, and I love to camp with a bunch of people. Well, Bunny, you walk right past the slide-out switch when you come in the door. Well, you didn't tell me that. It's right here. All right. So just hold this button you got right here on the out position, and all of a sudden you'll have a lot of floor space. What's happened to the wall right here? <laughs> it's moving. Holy moly, look at there. This, thing, this is better than Mama's apple pie. Look at this. Wow. Man, by the time this gets all slid out, we could have a dance hall in here. You absolutely could. Do a little line dance right down here. We love the rodeos, you know it. 
Well, this here I know is a fireplace, but where in the world? How do I start this thing? Bunyan. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? 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 All electronic, 5,000 BTUs of heat. Just push a button or remote. How'd you do that? Yeah, about it's just magic. Instant fire. Instant fire. That thing heats too? Heats 5,100 BTUs per hour. No matches? No matches. Okay, Grant. I'm not a smart man, but there's something wrong with this couch. There's, it's like it's missing. <laughs> What's going on? So this is actually what we call our L Chase sofa. Um, this sofa is pretty unique because it gives you a nice lounging spot. You can kick your feet up while you're watching Bill dance outdoors. But at the same time, if you want to sleep a buddy or two here, you're able to do so. So you have to take these back cushions off. This is what's called a slide-a-bed. So this portion of the, of the sofa will actually slide out. The legs come down. And then the back comes down and gives you a sleeping space this way. Oh, so it can sleep more? It can sleep more. Well, I don't know. I like to party eight, dine at six, and sleep two. Now also, this is some good storage area under here. Yeah. You can utilize this storage space. For what? Whatever you want. Oh. As well as get this up out of your way for a lot of good storage. Oh, I know. It's I essentially like a that. Swiss Army sofa. Now you're talking my language. Swiss, Swiss Army, Army sofa. I, I, I got one of those nice. I like it. Grant, I know what's in here. What do you think's in there? That's a meat locker. You're close. You're close. <laughs> it's a big old walk-in pantry. Right. It's a pantry? That's a pantry. It's not a meat locker? No, but you could use it for anything you want. Clothes. Well. Or food. Or yeah. your deer. I could probably turn that into a freezer. <laughs> Hard door and all. Absolutely. Yeah, Bunyan likes his privacy, so I like that. Yep. Over here, you got a switch for your bedroom, your main bedroom light. Ooh. Nice. Your power vent fan with switches here mounted on the wall, so we can open and close that. Buttons are good. Yes, sir. I like that. Up here, you have a cable outlet and your. Hold GFI on, you're outlet. going way too fast. Cable outlet, you said. Cable outlet. GFI outlet for uh, and a backer in this wall if you want to put a TV in the bedroom. Yeah, I like to watch the hunting shows at night. Absolutely. All right. Whoa, this is a big old bed. Big Woo. six or seventy by eighty residential queen or king bed. Yeah, Bonnie likes to sleep. And then go ahead and pull on that nightstand. Do it. Pretty, pull on. Do it. it pretty gently, though. What you mean, pull on it? Whoa! I could put a lot of stuff in ammo and stuff like that. Ammo, your pistol. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness! Look at there. I feel like a, my own bunion safe right in there. I like it. And then you do have double hydraulic struts under your bed with a double plywood wood. bed base. Oh, that's a nice, ooh. Oh yeah. Put all the sleeping bags and gear right in there, okay? All right, Bunyan, so that was the best five minute, four year degree I could get you on the Winnebago product. Now let's see how much you actually remember from what we, what we learned. Wait, there's a test? There is a, it's a test, but ooh. if you pass, you will get your Winnebago certified or certificate of participation. My very own diploma? Your very own diploma. participation diploma. It'd be like a diploma to me. Absolutely. There Great you go. on the curve, will you? <laughs>